Hello, and welcome back to another video made by All Clear Technologies. It may be useful to create a RAID setup of hard drives or USB devices. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up RAID using some more built in features in Disk Utility. First, you'll need two USB devices to create the RAID with. In my case, I'm just going to be using these small generic 1 gigabyte USBs and I'm going to plug both of them in. You can see here the external 1 and external 2 show up. So now we need to open Disk Utility. After Disk Utility opens, you should see both of the drives listed under External. It's important to note that any drive listed under Internal is your internal hard drive and most of the time you don't want to touch that. Any work you do is done at your own risk and we are not responsible for any data, hardware or software lost due to doing this. So, once you have both of the USB devices, click File and then RAID Assistant. Now you can choose three types of RAID, although technically the last type is not a RAID. The first RAID type, stripped or RAID 0, splits the data evenly across two or more disks. This will make the data more faster, but you may lose a bit of storage. Mirrored, also known as RAID 1, has an exact copy of the data on two disks, and it's useful when read performance or reliability is more important. The last option down here is a group of disks connected together for a purpose of creating a larger disk, however this is technically not a RAID. As this is not a RAID, I'm going to be using RAID 0. I'm going to click next and then I'm going to select both of the disks. Then click next. Now you can set all the information for the RAID. I'm just going to leave this on Mac OS Extended Journal for now. Give it a name. I'm just going to call this RAID. And then you can choose the chunk size. So down here there's a little note that says, for best performance, choose a chunk size that matches the data, the size of the data you're accessing. For example, video processing may access larger chunks of data, but a database may access smaller. For my use, I'm going to set this to 64K. Once all the information is entered in, you can click Next. You'll be asked to confirm your changes, and then you can click Create. After the process is complete, you'll see this green tick and the text saying, RAID created successfully. Now, even though both USB drives are plugged in, I can see this one RAID option here. Also, Disk Utility will now show this set of RAID under RAID Sets. You can see both the disks and all the information about the RAID here, as well as deleting the RAID. So if you ever need to delete the RAID, plug all the drives in, then click Delete RAID. Thanks for watching this video made by All Clear Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video.